This video is going to be about linkage maps. So linkage maps are going to be a map of genes on a chromosome and their relative positions to one another based off of recombination frequencies. So how we calculate a recombination frequency is we take the number of recombinant offspring, so let's say we have one, and we divide it by the total number of offspring. So let's say we'll have four total. And so that will give us a percentage. So uh, for this, it would be 25%. So this is a 25% recombination frequency. And so we also know that um, a recombination frequency, 1% recombination, is equal to one MAP unit. One MAP unit. So we can say that whatever crossing over occurred between these two genes, they are about 25 MAP units apart from one another. And so important with this concept of recombination frequencies and MAP units is that um, the farther away two genes are from one another on a particular chromosome, the higher the recombination frequency should be, just because now there's more spaces in there um, for this crossing over to actually take place. So um, in the video where we talked about linked genes, we uh, talked about how if genes are too close together, re recombination won't happen between them because there's not enough room and so those are considered linked. So the farther apart we get uh, between these two genes, the higher the chance of recombination. So recombination frequencies will only go up to 50% because at 50%, the genes, uh, even though they are on the same chromosome, they're considered genetically unlinked because uh, crossing over would happen so frequently that they would segregate independently of one another just like they would if they were on two separate chromosomes. So um, having these MAP units, you can have MAP units for several different genes and then plot them out and figure out where um, exactly those genes are on the chromosome and what order they're in, um, all based off of their recombination frequency. So linkage maps are a really useful tool to have um, to be able to figure out the order of genes on a chromosome from uh, data about the offspring. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.